Okay, we're here. After listening to Guy Stefak, I can't even say that word very well when I'm not singing it, but still. Oh. I feel like it just like ran a mile. This the song is just breathtaking. 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 That was a good just, word. Just oh my god. <laughs> I feel like choking up. I do. I feel near to tears whenever I hear the song. Okay, let's play the clip first so that I don't forget to do that again. But here's Guys to Flower for you. Cause we share. I know it doesn't really sum up the entirety of the song in just that little clip that I played, and I, I guarantee you, if you listen to this song, you will feel what we were feeling for the last four minutes and 30 seconds. Because I just... Oh, this song is just so beautiful. I mean, um, my friend on Facebook, Felicia, listened to the the um, the uh, the released clip, a little bit of it, uh, a while back when it came out as Phantom Rider. I didn't want to listen to it because I wanted to listen to the German first, and I'm glad I did, to say that at least. But she said that it that it reminded her of the new of the new Ich bin da or the new By Your Side or whatever. Like it's very similar in quality, and I have to agree with her that it's it's uh, the way Ich bin da made me feel when I listened to it the first time back in the day. It's just, I mean, it, this is the same quality of feeling and the same like, and oh my God, when Bill sings, I am here, and just like uh, the, the loudest among his range, and just. Whew, just oh my god especially that part at the end is just one of my favorite parts of the whole song and uh i just this song makes me feel so much and like it just the uh, halfway through it starts it's the slow and the niceness of it sorry hold on it starts the slow and the niceness and then and then halfway through it just it slams you with its hardcore rhythm beat sound motion and it just it just it gave us both shivers, goosebumps, and and it reminds me so much of the the last chorus in each Bindal where he just hits you hard, and he and he does the up note, and and then especially it reminds me also of the of the of the last chorus in uh versus Burgess and the Kinder where all the the chorus came in and, and of the kids singing, and mm-hmm. that and that this song is just tops, <laughs> ace, ace. as most people say these days. What she said also, uh, of course. Um, Oh God! Like when that when that part hit when she that she was just talking about where it's it's kind of quieter and then all of a sudden it's that oh my God really yeah. I came <laughs> I came too and I don't say that very often she says it all the time I don't come nearly as often as she does because <laughs> I'm not that easy <laughs> I'm not that easy <laughs> okay but oh my God it was so gorgeous and yeah it, it is a lot like it's been that like I have that as a song in my favorites or something on YouTube right because I play it so much it's so pretty. Gives me so much, like you, like she was saying, it's feeling. so feeling. It's like right in your chest too. Yeah. It's like, like it's oh, like it's pulling or something. I don't know. It's so pretty, so beautiful. Like it could die anyway. But um, and then hearing this one, it, it had it, it was like she said the same, similar. It gave that similar feeling and emotion, like, like a. Like a breakthrough, like just yeah. like you want to like cry, but cry for a good reason. Yeah, yeah, like a like, happy, like happy, a happy yeah. cry. Yeah, yeah, that's what it felt like. It was yeah. just so. Versus my last one's love, and which makes me want to cry in like sadness. This one is just happy tears of of fucking joy, ecstasy going ecstasy. down my throat. Yeah. Like, wait, ecstasy? Okay, I'm not gonna ask. Anyway, <laughs> and then the girl singing in there—you forgot to kind of bring that up. Very she, beautiful. You've seen her. I meant the sound. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, it was a little off-putting at first. I, I, really? I, well, a little bit. She she was really really high. I knew she was coming in soon. I'm like, okay, okay, and then I just said. Well, it was it was so high pitched that it was kind of it's it was it's prettier as she goes down. I I mean she she can sing high notes and it sounds. Pretty, I liked it, but I liked it a little bit lower. Like I liked when she was singing a little bit lower. So it was kind of like whoa, oh okay, that's nice, you know. She was kind of up that range the whole time she was singing though, especially yeah, in the background it, vocals but just of that, Bill's uh, Right in the beginning is just I don't yeah. like it. I don't like it. But you know the rest of it is not, it's good. I'm really really curious to find out who it is. I don't think it's Chantel yeah. just because I can't well, imagine Bill and Chantel Chantel getting curious. I can't imagine Chantel and Bill getting along enough to sing together. But I was all, I only mean, said it was Chantel just to piss people off. Don't worry, we don't actually think it's Chantel. We're fairly sure they would never work with them anyway. 
Well, Tom might. You know, he'd work with her. I'm Haven't like, you been? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of the interview. Shut up, Tom. It doesn't even talk about. Anytime they bring up Chantel, he's just like, "That's old news." Can I keep talking now? Are you done? I was kidding. It didn't sound like you were kidding. I had to defend myself. Anyway, uh, but the part where they're singing together. It just sounds so good. It sounds they complement each other really they well, really do. and it sounds like they have like chemistry? some kind of yeah vocal, chemistry, vocal yeah. chemistry, vocal chemistry, vocal chemistry. Of course, now I'm not saying you know I don't know anything about their whoever they are as connection, whatever. But right, it but sounds good vocal together. Chemistry. Like they were really both into it, and I really mm. liked how that sounded. It was very good. It was very powerful. It was. I liked it. It was a very beautiful song. And now I see what all the hype was about. Definitely, yeah. it's definitely. I've always been hearing it from her. She's like, oh my god, oh my god, it's fine, and that's why. Yeah. Do you have anything to say? This song can only be summed up in one word. Balls. <laughs> but it's the good balls. kind of balls, the right? kind of balls. The Not the kind of hairy balls you wake up with on your forehead, okay? <laughs> what? Have you woken up with hairy mean. balls on your forehead recently? Not me. You. Me. Oh, okay, but right. Yeah, well, I, I think this is the one of the best Tokyo Hotel songs I've heard so far. And I haven't really heard that very many. It's still really good. Well, you've heard, yeah. like... Nine-ish. Yeah. Okay. Well, well definitely. Yeah. Death Safari is definitely on my top, like, like, very close to the, to the number one slot. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be yet, but it's exciting. It's very exciting. That's fun. I know. <laughs> I, yeah. All right. We'll be back with the All next right. installment coming up next.